today we are going over how to use Apple Maps offline with the new iOS 17 update as well as a refresher with Google Maps. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open Apple Maps on your updated iPhone. Go to the location that you would like to use offline. For this example, I am looking up Sedona because, you know, why not? So once you have looked up the location you want to view offline, you're going to tap this off line button. That'll make sure you'll, you'll be able to access the map offline. Then you're going to download it. Be aware of how much space these downloads will take up on your phone. Apple Maps tends to have a lot larger download packages than Google Maps, just as a comparison. So once it's fully downloaded, you will be able to access that later, and I will show you how to do that. To view the map you just downloaded, you're going to want to go to the main page of Apple Maps and tap your your face, your ID, your picture right there on the lower right hand corner and view offline maps. Here you will see all of the maps that have been downloaded or are in the process of being downloaded. Now, once they are downloaded, you don't really have to do anything special. You should just be able to open maps and it will work exactly how you need it to. But just so you can see, this is where the downloads live. Now let's do a comparison with Google Maps. It's very much the same or quite similar. So to show how to use Google Maps offline, I am going to take us all the way to Southern California to the beautiful Joshua Tree. Now, once you have looked up the place that you want to download, the map you want to use offline, you're going to open that screen to the widest it can go, tap those dots in the upper right hand corner, and then click the option download map. Once you're there, you can customize the space you want to use. In this case, I want to use the actual map of the park, not necessarily the city outside of it. And it's going to download for me there. To view your downloads, it's similar. You're going to tap your picture or your ID icon, and then you are going to tap offline maps. Now here you can see all the maps you have downloaded, and I have already downloaded Sedona earlier, so let's compare those map sizes from Apple Maps to Google Maps. So on Google Maps, it is 59 megabytes. And on Apple Maps, it was somewhere in the realm of 120 megabytes. So substantially larger on Apple Maps. And keep that in mind, I found that as a theme when comparing different places. Uh, Google Maps would be under a gig where Apple Maps might be up to eight gigs, say anywhere in Europe with lots of map details like Paris. All right, that's how you use Apple Maps and Google Maps offline. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm Sherry, your telecom expert with Whistleout.